measuring weather. The weather affects how you dress for school. It also affects how much water plants get. So it is important to keep track of the weather. A scientist who studies weather is called a meteorologist. Meteorologists use tools to measure weather conditions. These conditions include temperature, air pressure, and wind. The measurements tell about today's weather and help predict future weather. Air temperature is usually measured with a thermometer. A thermometer is a thin glass tube with a bulb at one end that has liquid inside of it. As air temperature increases, the liquid heats up and expands. It rises up the tube. Temperature is measured in units called degrees. A thermometer has numbers on the outside of the tube that represent degrees. The number next to the top of the liquid in the tube is the temperature. Temperature is measured in either the Celsius scale or the Fahrenheit scale. You can look outside to tell something about air pressure. When air pressure is low, the weather is often damp and cloudy. When air pressure is high, the weather is usually dry and clear. A tool called a barometer is used to measure air pressure. A higher reading means higher air pressure. The first tool to measure air pressure was the mercury barometer. Today, air pressure is also measured with an aneroid barometer. A tool called an anemometer measures wind speed. Most anemometers have three or four cups. The faster the cups spin in the wind, the higher the wind speed shown on the anemometer. Have you seen wind vanes on rooftops? A wind vane points in the direction from which the wind is blowing. Today, you got to look at how meteorologists measure weather using different tools. You learned that meteorologists use tools such as a thermometer, a barometer, an anemometer, and a wind vane to help measure the weather.